someone who makes me happy I know someone who makes me dance He's the reason my feet are moving He's the reason I'm gonna lift my hands and clap to go to the park and fly a kite. And I said, let's do it. So there we were flying the kite when suddenly the wind started getting stronger and stronger and my kite went higher and higher. I fought it and thrown away. But then my dad told me to pull on the string. And when I did, my kite came back. My kite went way, way, way up and up and up and then came back. What a great day. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello there, Zoe. Who? Who? Flying a kite, are you? Hi, Ollie. 
Yep, I sure am. My kite went way, way up into the clouds, and then I pulled the string, and it came back. I was so happy. Your kite coming back to you is great. It's true. But I have an even better story for you. Just listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Happy Easter to you. Oh. Hi friends, happy Easter to you. I'm Justin the Mailman and I am so glad you're here. Today is a day for celebrating and I wanna tell you all about it. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Look, do you know what that is? A heart, that's right. Because the true story of Easter begins with God's love for us. Everybody hold your hands up way up high in the air. Hold them up high. Because the Bible teaches us God's love for us goes higher than the highest mountain, higher than a kite can fly. Now, stretch your hands out wide like this. Because God's love for us is bigger and wider than we can even hold. Now, put your hands down deep to the ground because God's love for us goes deeper than the deepest ocean. He loves us so much. God loves us so much that he gave us his son, Jesus, to be our friend forever. But first, something sad had to happen. One night, when Jesus was having dinner with his good, good friends, he told them he would have to go away, but he told them he would come back. After dinner, Jesus went to a garden to pray. While he was there, some angry people came and took Jesus away. They hurt Jesus and he died. It was very sad. All of Jesus' friends were so sad. Can you show me your sad face? Yes. They were so sad. They put Jesus' body in a tomb with a big stone in front of it. Three sad days went by. Can you count them with me? Day one. Day two. Day three. Look! On the third day, when some of Jesus' friends went to the tomb, they saw that the stone had been rolled away and Jesus was not there. Then came the good news. Jesus came back just like he said he would. Everyone was so happy. Can you show me your happy face? Yes, Jesus is alive. It was amazing, incredible. Do your happy celebration dance. Yes, Jesus is alive. We are celebrating today because it's Easter and Jesus is alive and he wants to be our friend forever. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Happy Easter. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus went away and came back, just like he said he would. Ho, ho. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow, that was such a great story. Jesus said he was going away and he would come back. And he did! Jesus is alive and he wants to be our friend forever. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey! It's windy outside. Time to go fly my kite. I'll see you next time. Bye!
How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ? Ephesians 3.18 How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ? Ephesians 3.18